Hello and welcome to this video. In this session I am going to briefly show you how to use the trade simulation in Port, which allows you to ask Bloomberg to optimize your portfolio for a given goal that you set it. So this would be useful when you have a portfolio already set up and you have a goal in mind that you want Bloomberg to ask you to achieve and then give you a list of potential stocks to buy and sell to, en to enable you to meet this objective. So to start with you click on the trade simulation button at the top in the red toolbar and a similar window to this will appear. Now I'm going to show you two examples. The first one is to increase your sharp ratio which means to reduce, reduce your risk exposure but increase your expected return. So the way this is set up is number one is you have to give it the goal. So on here you'd first say what are you asking Bloomberg to do and then you can click on add and then for instance you could type in the sharp ratio and say click Obviously the aim is to maximise, you wouldn't want to minimise it, and press select. And then it should appear here. But again, you can look at a range of goals, so you might want to reduce your portfolio beta, you might want to look at your objections ratio, and so on. And you set the goal here. The trade universe, number two, ask you, asks are you asks well, what do you want to use to meet this objective. So what's normally pre-populated is the current portfolio. So that would ask Bloomberg to say how can I make a portfolio I've already got better only using the stocks and cash I have in the portfolio. Now for some objectives like the sharp ratio you might need to increase your trade universe. So for instance, you can add, or you can ask Bloomberg, okay, I want you to also look at a list of stocks within the FTSE 100, for instance. So if you want to do this, you can click add, you can go to my current portfolio, if you have a benchmark, you can click it there. If not, you can click on a fund and just type in the FTSE. And then press add. Obviously, bear in mind, if you were to add more trade universes like the S&P 500, then when you set the goal to run, it might take a lot longer for Bloomberg to work it out. The third section is the constraints. So you have to tell Bloomberg to kind of put a lid on it. Because you could, if you wanted to leave that empty, then you'd say, okay, Bloomberg, look for the FTSE 100 in my current portfolio and make as many trades as you like to make the best sharp ratio. Now, you may want to reduce that, so the likes of turnover um, can be used, you can add, add turnover or add trades, and in this instance, the maximum amount of trades is worth 20% of my overall portfolio here. But again, you can change this. And the last part, part four, asks, okay, what are your expected returns for your stocks? So I've already got listed all the stocks here in my portfolio. And I give a percentage of my expected return here as well. Now, when you use this function, your expected returns may be used from previous calculations using the capital asset pricing model or the dividend discount model, for instance. Now, the shortcut to do this is you can use this uh, export button and it'll produce the way you, it, it, the format it, it requires you to have it in. Now I got these list of stocks from going to PRTU, then on that function in the red toolbar you can go actions output and it gives you another spreadsheet 
with a list of all the tickers. So I imported that list to here and I've listed my expected returns. And to get it back into the optimizer, what you'd need to do is you could highlight the relevant fields, you click on the black line and you drag and drop to the first one and it'll populate accordingly. If you weren't to do this, you could say in the top line, just put 5% default all stocks, though for Bloomberg we assume the expected return for every stock stock is 5%. Another thing you might want to do on this last section is change the amount of maximum usage of cash or the maximum amount of weight per every equity. So I give Bloomberg a bit of freedom here with the equity, which says you can actually tell Bloomberg to sell everything but hold 100% in one stock. Obviously you can reduce that to 20 and so on um, and play with that to see what the output is. And the top one talks about cash. Now this is an equity portfolio, therefore I'm suggest asking Bloomberg only to have a maximum of 5% in cash. Uh, obviously you can change that depending on your risk appetite or the amount of cash that you'd potentially have left. When you've set it up, just simply press run and then wait for the calculation. Now I've previously done this beforehand, therefore it didn't take as long. So given the amount of positions or the, the turnover is a, a, an 18% change to the portfolio, which actually means buying and selling up to 60 stocks. Now going back to the setup, we can change trade turnover to a number of transactions and that may reduce this. So what it what Bloomberg is telling me to do is say my original sharp ratio was that and if I was to do this whole turnover then I can increase my sharp ratio slightly. So you might think is that worthwhile? Yes or no. And underneath here you have a list of all the stocks it's asking you to buy and which ones it's asking you to sell out of. Obviously changing the settings will differ the amount of trades it will do. And if you want, you can press export trades into Excel so it gives you an idea of what you need to do. Or then you can go to analyze and the port function will come up and you can potentially analyze the new portfolio with the new weightings. Now be careful of this top budding because if you were to save it, then that means your portfolio would change. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to make an efficient frontier using the trade simulator. So as you may know, the efficient frontier on the x-axis has risk, on the y-axis has return. So the ultimate goal is for this is to increase expected return. So you go add expected return and select this. As your, as your goal. Obviously you want to maximize that. In this example, you, all I want uh, Bloomberg to do is to increase, is to have a look at an efficient frontier given the current list of stocks I have. And that's because the portfolio has about 23 stocks already, therefore I think that's okay and it's diverse enough. If not, you can relax this rule and add another indices. In the constraints field, this is where you need to click on add frontier instead. On here, you have to click frontier. Now I've already got one selected, so it won't allow me. Give me a sec. So I go add frontier, and obviously the y axis is total risk. Sorry. So you'd add, click on portfolio risk, and you need to give it some constraints. So I will know, we'll just put from if I wanted to look for portfolios from a minimum of 5% up to a maximum, I don't know, we'll say 35% standard deviation. Again, you can change it accordingly. And again, on the bottom half, I again have my list of stocks and their expected returns. Now, when you have that, 
press run. So when this is complete, you'll be given a potential frontier here where it will list up to five portfolios where it shows you the total risk and the expected return. Now obviously here you can see that maybe for a given level of risk, portfolio two might be the most optim optimum for your sell because the amount of total risk given the level of expected return is probably more worthwhile than taking excess risk to only get 0.4 more. So if you want to opt for portfolio two, you click on the number and then it will give you a list of trades that you need to do to increase expected return. So as you can see, current expected return is, points, is 6%, but using this frontier, you can then increase it to 8.6% given portfolio two. And portfolio one would potentially show you a more risk averse approach and in this case it would ask you to increase your portfolio percentage for at least 50 60 percent in cash therefore you'll, you'd have to look at your risk appetite then and say well maybe i might not want to have a look at portfolio one i'd opt for two um relative to four and five etc but again, that's based on your risk appetite. Now, sometimes this doesn't work. So you may set an objective, but Bloomberg might give you a straight line or a choice of one or two portfolios rather than five different portfolios. And that really depends on your trade universe or the constraints you set it. Therefore, it's worth practicing and having to play around by changing and relaxing the weights of cash or the maximum exposure to individual stocks and so on. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.